Hey everyone, welcome back to Knowledge Nexa. Today, we're diving into a detailed review of the Beat Studio Pro. If you're considering these headphones, stick around because we've got a lot to cover. Before we begin, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest reviews. And for those of you ready to grab the Beat Studio Pro, check the link in the description box below for a direct purchase link. Now, let's get started. Alright, let's talk about the build and design of the Beat Studio Pro. These headphones come in a lightweight and foldable design, making them convenient for on-the-go use. However, the use of plastic and minimal padding in certain areas, like the band, might be a concern for some users. The pressure on the skull can be a bit uncomfortable, especially during extended use. Surprisingly, the Beat Studio Pro doesn't feature Apple's H1 or H2 chip, but it does come with a USB DAC, allowing for wired USB-C listening. The inclusion of head-tracked spatial audio, Find My, fast pairing, and transparency mode adds some advanced features. On the downside, the small ear cups might not provide a comfortable fit for users with average or larger sized ears. Now, let's talk about the controls. The physical clicky buttons, hidden behind the Beats logo, control power, pairing, and ANC transparency mode. While reliable, the placement of these buttons and the force required to press them can be a bit frustrating. It's worth noting that using the USB DAC mode introduces three EQ presets, but navigating them has some quirks. The Beats app for Android becomes necessary for certain adjustments like changing the behavior of the system button, renaming the headphones, or updating the firmware. While we usually advise caution with apps collecting personal data, staying on top of software updates is essential for addressing control-related issues. The Beat Studio Pro offers versatile connectivity options, including USB-C, 3.5mm, and Bluetooth over SBC or AAC. The rare inclusion of USB connectivity is a plus. Pairing is straightforward, with the headphones attempting to connect to the last paired device or entering pairing mode if needed. iOS users also benefit from fast pairing. In our testing, the Beat Studio Pro impressed with a battery life of 31 hours and 25 minutes on a full charge. Additionally, a quick 10-minute charge can provide up to 4 hours of playback time. This is excellent for users on the go who need a reliable battery performance. Moving on to noise cancellation, the Beat Studio Pro excels when there's a good fit, blocking out 50-90% to 90 of unpleasant sounds. However, achieving that optimal fit can be a challenge for some users, especially those with glasses or larger sized ears. The ANC performance is solid but falls slightly behind top competitors like the AirPods Max or Sony WH-1000XM5. Let's talk about sound quality. The default frequency response leans towards the treble, offering a consumer-friendly sound with boosted sub-bass and clear vocals. However, the emphasis on highs can make high-pitched instruments or loud metallic sounds a bit grating. The fit plays a crucial role, so users with a good seal will enjoy the intended sound profile. Using the onboard microphone for phone calls reveals a steady roll-off after 1 kHz, resulting in recordings that are quieter than expected. Microphone sensitivity is low, and background noise rejection isn't a strong suit. Future updates may improve this aspect, but for now, it's a bit disappointing. Alright, now the big question, should you buy the Beat Studio Pro? Well, it depends. If you have a smaller head and don't mind the fit issues, these headphones offer impressive features like spatial audio, good battery life, and solid noise cancellation. However, for users with average or larger sized heads, the uncomfortable fit and control quirks might be deal breakers. Before you make a decision, consider how the Beat Studio Pro compares to alternatives like the Sennheiser Momentum for wireless. The Sennheisers outshine the Beats in various aspects, including sound quality, comfort, connectivity options, and build quality. It's worth exploring other options in the market. And there you have it, our in-depth review of the Beat Studio Pro. If this video helped you make a decision or if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.